Welcome. In this video, we will learn about the employee report in the employee leave manager Excel template. This template is to help simplify leave management data in your organization. In the previous videos, we learned about how to enter the settings, how to enter the employee and leave data, and also we went over the balance report and the daily report. And now in this video, we will learn about the employee report. The employee report, as the name indicates, is to print or view a report for one employee at a time. So you can go to the top left here and I choose an employee uh, from the drop down of all employees. And now my report gets populated. The report has many different aspects to it. So I'm just going to go and cover the different pieces. On the top left, you will see the reporting period. So this says that January 1st to 16th August 2019, which is today, and uh, the entitlement period ends December 31st. So December 31st and January 1st are dates that we had entered here, start and end for the reporting period, and that is what is getting displayed, and everything is calculated using these dates. Now, for example, when we talk about how much um, is the entitlement, and that's something that we had entered in the settings, and how much is used by the employee, and that is as of 16th August, because as of now, any future dated vacation will not be um, used to calculate the balance, so will not be displayed here. Now, the top here, this section shows for each leave type, the total entitled leave days, total used, and total balance, and here, if it'll show total entitled used balance for the other six leave types. So the template can show totally up to 12 leave types and that's what you see here. The holiday uh, is a, all the holidays will be displayed in the purple color. You can see here on May 1st, it's a uh, holiday. The weekends are displayed in this color and not employed. That means in this case, the employee was not employed until January 15th. So you see that they are um, reflected correctly that way in the calendar here. The employee started on 15th and the employee left the company on 10th June, this specific example. So you'll see that the employee was not employed until January 15th and then also from June 10th you'll see that the employee is showing as not employed. And you will have the last, like for example, February 29, 30, 31. That's not applicable because then, uh, that's not a valid date. So that's what not applicable means. Any dates in the future, like all these dates from August all the way to December 31st, that's future, uh, hasn't happened yet. So that's why it's colored slightly differently. And non-reporting. So non-reporting would be if, let's say for example, I finish my reporting period on December 1st, then this will show December 1st, and you'll see after December 1st, it'll show in a different shade or a pattern that reflects that that's not a reporting period. So this is how the calendar can be interpreted with the legend. The calendar will show 12 months and that is the limitation of the reporting period. So we started here from January 1st, but you could change the starting date also to start from a different day of the year. But the only limitation is it needs to be a maximum of 12 months because that's what the employee report is built to show at a time. So we talked about the calendar now. Let's move on to the second page of the employee report. Here at the top, um, we have the start date and the end date of the employee. You can also see the entitled leave number of days, used to leave number of days, balance um, leave. And this is basically nothing but summing up all the different leave types into a total leave uh, entitled used and balance values. We also have the number of work days. I'll explain that a little bit uh, shortly. It, here we have um, the total leave days taken for each leave type. So for example, this specific leave type of vacation, there have been two days. And um, all these other leave types also are summarized for each month. So this row indicates the January totals by leave type and this one is February and so on. The total leave is the total for the month across all the types of leave. And you can see that there are different um, colors here representing the different leave types. 
and that's what is displayed here as well and if there are um, less than 12 leave types you will see some blanks since the template can handle totally 12 and if you have only in this case i have only 10 the 11th and 12th will show us blank and that's fine um, and then the last column work days is calculated as how many days are totally um, eligible in this month and then we subtract the leave days so in this case the reporting period um, this employee for example um, hasn't started until 15th january so from 15th to 31st how many days of working days are available and then we subtract the leave taken by this employee in that month then we arrive at the worked days so if you think about it so from 15th to 31st that's like 17 days and there are four days of weekends so 17 minus 4 is 13 and then the employee has taken two days of vacation so 13 minus 2 is 11 so that's how we say that the employee has worked for 11 days and this is how it's calculated for every employee so if we change this to employee 5 then this will reflect what the employee 5 is and this employee worked 22 days in january because this employee started in 2018 and so the employee was available for the entire month of january so this employee worked 22 days much more than the employee one so hopefully that explains the different parts of the employee report and uh, in this case, the control, the only thing you need to change in this report is the employee name and will um, get the report automatically populated. And then you can go in and say file print so that you can see the print view of the template um, for the specific employee report. There are two pages. So this is the first page and then you can go to the second page and print that as well. And if you need to export it, you can click export and create PDF and then you can share as needed the PDF. In the next video, we'll talk about the monthly team dashboard. So if you have any questions about the employee report or anything about this template, please post your questions in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching.